Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I currently am suffering from, uh, I don't know what it is, a cold. My voice is a bit croaky, but that doesn't matter. It's not gonna stop us. I haven't got time to lay in bed today. So we are outside the cottage and we are about to make an attempt to install the new window for the kitchen. And now I just bought recently, I bought three new windows. They were so expensive that I haven't been able to do any work since for a while until I saved up some more money. But one is ready to install. So what that means is today we need to take out the old window and then we need to try and install the new one. Now it's a sash window. I've never installed one before. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but we've got all the parts. I think we'll be able to work it out. This is doing it ourselves. Right, so just behind me is this very old window. Now this window could possibly be from around the time of the Second World War, which would be the late 30s or the 1940s, but I've got a feeling that it was actually installed in the 1920s. You can see here that they are completely rotten uh, and they need replacing. What do you reckon, Florian? Do you think we can do it? Let's have a look, Michael. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Mm. So this is the new window. It's all made from solid oak. Uh, this piece is put in, put in temporarily. Now the this is the bottom sash. Where it actually, where it actually goes, kind of like that. I can't do it right now. Uh, and then we've got the top sash, which is outside, which has just had the glass put in. This had the glass put in. It's been varnished on the what will be the inside of the window so it will look like oak it will look like the paneling the rest of the kitchen and the outside half has been painted and as you can see here the outside part that you see is painted the same color as the doors of the cottage so from the outside they're this greeny blue and then from the inside they're oak and they're very 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 heavy um now with a sash window I think you're meant to put the frame in and you're meant to put everything together once the frame's in. But I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So we might have to change the method today to try and put this in, but I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. The thing is, we don't know exactly how it's gonna install until, until we've taken out the old one. All right, so let's make a start at taking this window out. Uh, and these old windows are pretty simple. They actually just lift off like that. Well, that's the easy part. We have to take out the frame, which is going to be a bit more difficult. All right, that's the old window gone. It's uh, it served its purpose for many years, but now it's time to put new ones in. that underneath is concrete which is fine so I'm hoping if I take it out it will come out right up to that line there there we go 
just like that. And that way, the new piece of plasterboard can go in and fit flush to that piece of wood and it'll be perfect. And that way we've got more, more room to maneuver the window frame in because they are quite chunky. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to get like some kind of saw and cut it out and then try to join a new piece together. Just smash it, who cares? I guess I should take it right to the bottom too because I'm going to take this out so yeah. so you know I think when Sean put this in he must have anticipated that I'd have to rip it out after because he literally screwed it in and put some expanding foam behind now Sean his mantra is, it's built with adjustment in mind. And it definitely was. So I'm glad that he didn't actually put this all in with plaster because it would be a nightmare to pull out. Whereas right now, I think it's pretty, it's gonna be, uh, how do you say in French? Facile. Facile. E facile means. Sub. Sub, easy or simple. Yeah. And actually, putting the architrave on before, Absolutely no problem because actually you've got a nice clean line to put the new plasterboard to into. So we're all good. I was really stressed about ripping these windows out. I really was. It's like I can't do it, I don't know what I'm doing. But you'd be surprised for most things, just give it a go. You might find it's very easy and you might enjoy it. Smashing things up. Bonjour Michael. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? Ça va bien, ça? If you want to talk when I'm filming, you have to put the, change the setting, otherwise you won't hear your voice. But I never speak English. Okay. I don't speak English. Because that microphone is directional. You can have it so it just picks up my voice, so we can pick up things behind the camera too. So if you want to speak, Florian, if you want to be heard, you've got to change the setting. No, I'm a shadow man. They can't hear you. Shadow man, like. You can't hear you. I know the long. They can't hear you. It's not worth it. Just keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. Oh. Almost there. Wow. Just came out in one piece. Let's try and keep that one. We might better put it back. There's no point in wasting it if we don't have to. Right. So I need to get this last bit of plasterboard out. Have a tidy up. All right, I come back inside, Michael. I yep. arrive. See you. Yep. See ya. Okay, so Dad says just cut the frame in half because you can't save the windows, no, they're never going to be used again. Just so cut through the frame and just use a crowbar and pull it out. Okay. There's bricks there. No, oh, not bricks there. Yeah, like a terracotta. Yeah. Get behind that and pull out. Yeah. Burn that. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I need to cut these metal things out. I've got a wash down. I've got a new wash down. Uh, what is it? Grinder with a belt blade in. All right. Look at that. Someone's put some bricks in there. Piece. Look at that. 
Ugh. Just throw it out. And then the stone comes out so that actually the bottom of the window can sit on the stone. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's so like through then. Uh, Florian, can you plug that in for me? Yeah. Under the table. Cinderella. Cinderella? <laughs> a dream is a witch your heart makes when your heart comes in. I'll tell you what, the sore throat gives you a nice deep voice. <laughs> in dreams you will lose your heart in whatever you wish for. Okay, this is very good work. Doesn't look too filthy, it's just the floor. <laughs> There'll be a layer of dust over everything, but that's what cleaning's for. <laughs> This window, what we'd have to do is have to put the frame in and then try and thread the cords through and add the weights after. But actually, what we can do is because this granite lintel protrudes back. So what all I need to do is uh, attach a big piece of oak under here that comes out the depth of the window, drill it into the stone so it's got a nice thick shelf. We, we can con construct the entire window put all the sashes in the weights, close the boxes, and then what we can do is we can literally, it'll be really heavy, but as long as there's a few of us, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to lift the whole entire window in, sit it on the shelf here, push it forward, and then because there's this oak lintel in the top, we'll be able to put some screws and some L brackets in at the top to hold it in, and then maybe add some little L brackets and discrete ones on the sides to hold it in that you won't see. And that way, it's going to make it our job much easier because I don't know how to thread the cords in through the pulleys, attach the weights and everything what, whilst the window's in. I, that's, I, I don't know how to do that. So we're going to do it the easy way. The only problem we'll have is lifting it, which is going to be really heavy. Yeah, but you and me, Michael, it's okay. Well, yeah, it might be okay. <laughs> it might be okay. Hey, keep going, Cinderella. Yeah. Alright Michael, what are you doing actually? Right, so at the moment um, we are just putting the cord, the sash cord, and um, nailing it to the sashes. Um, now normally you would use copper nails because they don't rust. Um, but I couldn't get any copper. I could got, I've got copper nails, but they're way too long. They'd go through the frame and they would go into the glass and split the glass. So I've actually got galvanized ones uh, and I'm just putting a couple extra in just to make sure it's uh, nice and strong. So make sure that one's well below that one. There. Are you using your uh, second second work here? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's it. good. Let's put an extra one in. I mean, to be honest, one of these nails will probably hold it, 
but in which case we're going to put three so that if one fails there's another two and then if the third one <laughs> the second one fails there's a third one so it will hurt forever well they're galvanized so they should last longer than just an iron one but i don't think they'll rust because they're not going to be wet so no, they're inside they might get a bit of humidity yeah. but they won't in which case we can just if they ever break we just pull them out and put some fresh nails in but that won't be for what at least 20 years at least but in the shop where we took them mm -hmm. the girl said we it doesn't rust no because these nails probably they probably go on the rooftop normally yeah these are for roofs these are roofing yeah. nails so, so I they're galvanized so they don't rust That's or to at least extend their life so because once the galvanized finish goes then it will continue its normal course of degradation but i think so let me have a look okay they're good enough look that one probably wants to go in a bit further but it looks perfect yeah gotta be careful because there's glass in there don't want the glass to split so 1.5 meters from there and then we need to, I've got lead weights because um, uh, a gentleman kindly gave me weights but they're cast ones and they were all different weights um, and different sizes and things like that so some of them would have had to have been made up with little bits of extra lead and things like that so in the end I had to order some lead ones from England which were expensive but a friend of mine was going to England and she was near the place where they actually sold them so she managed to bring them back and I didn't have to pay for the shipping because it would have cost me 500 euros just for the lead weights but it only cost me about 250 in the end I tell you what these windows have been so expensive that's why I haven't done any more work in the cottage because these kind of wiped out the budget for what I had left to do so I had to wait until I've saved up some more money to, to continue working in here oh. At least we've got three new windows. The other ones are upstairs, they're just be painting and putting together like these. So, right, let's uh, say that's. Uh... Do you need help? No, I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Just need to measure from there, so we've got plenty of extra. Thread the cord over. So two ops, each edge. Obviously, they're made of lead, they're very heavy, um, but they're very soft lead, so you can cut it with a, a saw. Oh, here we go. Oh my word, these are very heavy. <laughs> I guess that's the, that's the idea. It's what the name is weight. <laughs> okay.
Right, so the window's been lifted in. You might need a few adjustments left or right. But we're just gonna see if it works. Just needs leveling up. And obviously it has like a, what's called a staff bead, which goes on the inside and holds it all together. But I need to fit that afterwards. So there it is. Looks quite good, doesn't it, Bill? It looks fantastic. Fantastic. It's got a catch there, so you can close it. So you can't lift, well, it's all put together properly. So yeah, there we go. Let's just go outside and have a little shot and see what it looks like.